Okay, a little white flour. I'm only making one, so I'm just gonna. This should be enough. Okay, and that flour, I'm gonna add. Salt and pepper. Some pepper. Pinch of closer salt. I'm also, I'm also going to add some Parmesan cheese to that. Everybody does theirs different. Just the way I do it, add a little bit of nuttiness to my nuttiness. Okay, set that aside. Here. Other ingredients. I use um, I use uh, extra dry vermouth, olive oil, butter, a little lemon juice, lemon. Before I do that, I want to actually. Use the guard. Oh, need to adjust that mug though. In my sauce. You good? Okay. Now, my fresh parsley. I'm gonna chop that up. I'm gonna clean off this. I'm fucking serious. Pull these off. Yeah. I kind of learned this being on YouTube, uh, watching a few chefs. Uh, I can't think of any names off hand that I watch one more than the other. But, so I just give this a nice little coarse chop here. Nothing too fancy smancy. Big, but I want to be able to garnish it afterwards and add it to my sauce. Okay, that looks good. Right, put that over there. Now, what I like to do. I'm 
gonna take this chicken. Put it in this bag here. Add a little olive oil. Gonna pound this baby down. Pound it. Get a nice consistent thinness. You don't want it too thin, but you don't want it too thick either. And you definitely don't want different evenness so it all cooks the same. That's the side. Now I use this uh, better than bouillon, mm, which is always hard to get open. Let's go to the next. All right, so better than bouillon, a little. Uh, like a bouillon cube, I guess. So I take about that much. I only do one, so I'm not gonna do too much, but. Trusty little $16 mixer. I use this thing for a lot. You just gotta be careful. It does make a little mess, but enough that we can't clean up, right? Alright. I think we're ready to get over here and get the pan going. So I'm gonna get the pan heated up. I'm gonna get this pan hot here. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna dip my uh, chicken into my egg, my flour, my egg, and then I'll add to my flour. Get that pan get hot. It's key, you wanna get that pan nice and warm before you throw your oil in there. Looking good, looking good. I'm gonna throw just a pinch more soul in my eggs. I don't do this when I scramble them, but I'll do it just for the basin. where I can get some oil in there. Get the oil nice and hot while I'm doing that. I'm gonna get my chicken breast over here. Get 
get it in that flour concoction here. Nice and floured up. Got that cheese everywhere. And I'm gonna dip it in the egg. I have another bowl like this, but it's dirty, so I'm not using it. Come on, egg, get in there, baby. Yeah, boy. Dip it back in this flour here. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Get that flour back in there. Alright. Lay the sucker in there. Well, that's doing its thing. I'm gonna get a side plate because we're not gonna we're gonna put this back into the pan after we make our sauce. So I'll run this uh, I don't know about maybe two minutes aside. Or kind of how I feel. I don't really find much stuff. So. Let that cook up. See how that's looking there? Yum, yum. Golden brown for the water. Gimbal wants to fight me. Lemon wedges, butter, lemon, and top. All ready to go. All right, well, that's cooking now. Try getting close to pull it. Yeah, 
Right now, I'm gonna put my vermouth in to deglaze the pan. Chicken broth in there. Let that get to a boil. Got a little bit of parsley. Yeah, buddy. Got a little bit of pepper. Some fresh pepper. Yeah, homes. Just a pinch more salt. Add a lemon there. I'm about to add some butter. Get this thing really, really on point. Look at that. Yeah. Put that boil down a little bit, baby. Get it over the flame. How's that looking? Mm. Like we're rocking with Doc in there. All right. So we're gonna reduce this down some. I said I don't really have times. I just kind of go by look, feel. That's just the way I've been learning to cook. My wife gets on me about it. Okay, let that simmer down. We'll take a little break, come right back to it. All right, back in action. Sauteing for a little bit. I'm gonna add the butter. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna put our lovely chicken back in there. That butter in there. That butter, yeah. Gotta put that butter. Like Paul Dean said, you gotta put in that butter. Now, melt that down a little bit. Mm. Amazing. That's gonna help thicken the sauce too. It's not like Oh, that was not the way I wanted that to go, but it's all right. A little bit of this. That was those shavings. Yeah, boy, look at that. Mm -hmm. That's good. Be plating that really soon. Plate it out with that now. now, usually you can have this with mashed potatoes, rice, any kind of side you want. I, I'm not doing the side. I don't really need the side, as you can tell. I'm going to turn this up here. Get a little diced. Well, this is going to hurt, so it's hard to... Thank you. 
Mm. We about ready to plate. I think so. in more of a, a restaurant setting and I was serving to someone else, I would have little better looking lemons on top. But for the sake of this, whatever. All right, there you go. That is how I make chicken franchise, franchise, as of now. All right, man. You guys are great. Subscribe my channel. It will get better as I get going. I'm doing this on a whim by myself. All right, you guys. Later.